question is whether it will dethrone Avatar and become the top grossing film of all time worldwide. Back when it premiered, Avatar generated $2.7 billion while in theaters. And if this weekend is any indication, Aranta, I say Endgame probably has a shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, we have to keep in mind that throughout the last 11 years, mm -hmm. we saw 22 movies. This yes. one is about three hours and two minutes long. So they were, you know, telling people if you're going to go watch it, not drink a lot of yeah, I know, water or soda because you won't find uh, the time to go to the restroom because True. all of the stories of all of the characters mm -hmm. are tied in in this last movie. How did they do that? It was actually pretty difficult, and you know, it took a lot of planning and time. Actually, both Avengers, uh, Infinity War, and also Endgame took about six months uh, to film completely. That's about 200 days, and it was nonstop. They kind of did both at the same time, although they had to finish the last one a little bit later. But now, in terms of what happened, of course, we're not going to give away any spoilers. No, no. <laughs> I have, but I won't say anything. <laughs> now, um, the development of the movie in large part came from the imaginations of screenwriters Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely. And they recently uh, spoke in an interview and said uh, they talked about the struggles of putting everything together. So we're talking about deciding exactly what road to take, what road not to take, what characters might not make it, what characters would, if any of them. So a lot. Fantastic. So if you saw it, do not spoil it for those who are going to the movies pretty soon. We're done. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow here on Unios with more information just for you. Hasta mañana.